Brandon. Delicate ball again, and will skid him nicely there. They're looking, they're lining up. She's got to be the right delivery. Man missing, incisive run. He didn't go too far, it's deflected in, it doesn't matter. That's 1-0, FC Goa, and can you believe it? It's Superland, Lenny Dungal, his first appearance for his new club. He breaks the deadlock. Fantastic work here from FC Goa. Credit to Sereton, driving forward, creating that overlap. Rivellato, the Brazilian is going to come on, but not right now. Jackie Chan in the box. That's an easy finish in the end. He made it look so easy. It's really tough to do. You've got to react quickly. Your first touch has to be absolutely perfect. Time and time again, we've seen this in the past, and time and time again, we'll see it in the future. Coro is Coro. It's 2-0. You cannot keep this man down. He's playing in a different position today, in a more of a number 10 role, but that doesn't stop him. Because this man is lethal from here. Ferran Corominas, that's 1-1, one, one. they've come back in the contest, a big player will score you the big goals, Corominas has done it yet again, 36 goals in 42 games. Unbelievable isn't it, oh, what a ball, great ball, oh, oh no, the keepers come off the line, should be a sixth goal in the hero ISL for Hugo Bubu, indeed it will be, the 24 year old scores his first of the season in his first start this season Hugo Bobo was always threatening to be the difference on the night he certainly is as we cross the half hour mark in Guwahati it's FC Goa 1 North East nil Bumu with the first of the night what is Subasic doing there football it's confirmation of the yellow card for hearings falls head and that's a goal FC Goa Courtesy of Manbir Singh, out of absolutely nowhere and a lapse in concentration from North East United FC. Steal an equaliser and it's 2-2, much like it was in this fixture in Guwahati in last season as well. Have a point. They go near post, it's on and what a shot. It looked like Everind had cleaned it up. It's a wonderful start for FC Goa. Incredible. King Lenny. I think that's got to be his first goal. I can't remember seeing Lenny score a goal. He scored two goals. One uh, for Pune a few years back and also for Bengaluru. But this is match number 71. Stalmate broken in the 27th minute. Now, Serriton is free. Here's Goro. He doesn't miss them from there. They opened up, it was a, a wonderful pass for Serriton, who overlapped, looked inside, and Scott all gets a goal here, 2-0 in stoppage time. Simplicity is genius. Which he does. Matata for foul, and now they've scored! That truly is a set piece of high quality. Matata Bell was at the back stick. And we're just trying to see who found the back of the net. Yeah, it's Boo It's Boo the number four. It is to the Frenchman who might have suffered an injury. He's not happy with that, obviously. Oh, that is a goal of absolute class. And you're not going to believe it again. Carlos Pena, he's popped up to score his second goal of the campaign. He never scored last season. Be mighty relieved, but it hit the post. Another cross, Murtada fall! And go have an equaliser! 
Yes, they do. Well, third of all, will look up to the heavens. The travelling fans will celebrate. FC Goa were always going to threaten, were always going to probe. And finally, you've got to manage the game. Manveer Singh all on his own. Manveer Singh and Goa are back in the game. Lenny Rodriguez, the dawn, fires Goa back in Kochi amidst the sea of orange. The orange flame is risen. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's the 11th goal in stoppage time that we've had so far this season. And it's come because of a silly, silly mistake from the goalkeeper. Well, Manbir just attacks the ball. Adil Khan, it looks as though it was his man. He's two yards off him. That's two yards too far. Bounced into the ground and right up into the corner. Wall in front of him. Brandon releases it. Murtada fall with half a dozen goals in the Hero ISL now. What about that from the centre back? 1 0 FC Goa and well deserved FC Goa. And as we said this season, to find some inspiration and boy. What an introduction that was. First he arrives and goes for Joppy Justin. He has another! And guess who? Well, somebody who absolutely needs no introduction to football fans in India whatsoever. 50 goal contributions in the Hero Indian Super League for Ferran Karominas. All that pressure that finally came from Koro. It's back inside, it's routine, isn't it? As simple and as sweet as that, 19 minutes in. Won't get an easier goal to put away. Just seconds ago, we're watching where addition looked like they might take the lead. But FC Goa have opened the account. Jerry lost the ball in the middle of the park. Cora wanted it earlier, it goes behind him, it goes to Edu Padilla. Oh, that's a goal. The keeper didn't read it well. Brandon Fernandez from distance lets loose. His first of the season, his fourth goal in 44 games. And I think that is the ball game. We were talking about him just being desperate to get on the score sheet early on tonight. Goro likes to go to the keeper's right. Let's see if he changes it. Not tonight. Goro Skoro has two to his name. Six for the season. And remember, he missed three games for injury. We can't call it underwhelming yet. Oh dear. Koro, a gift for him. Can Goa convert this in acres of spaces? Ciao! <laughs> His first ISL goal is a tucked in finish. Neat, prim, and proper, just like his passing. Here's German Preet. Chennai and just out of sorts since conceding very much like this. Brandon Fernandez punishes. And there it is. The creator turns goal scorer. The orchestrator takes on the instruments. The director is the lead actor today. And Brandon Fernandez contributes to another goal. Here come Goa. Jackie Chan delivers. Oh, it's the third goal. And Bumu makes it 3 0. FC Goa turned defense into attack in the blink of an eye. A goal fest at the Marina Arena. But once again, it's the away team which is celebrating. Passing early, but the way he tries to fight back. Well, Koro. Koro can make it 4 2. There it is, he makes no mistakes. A stone cold hitman with nerves of steel. Wow, and he's got fire in his boots since his return. 
Well, he's probably had one of his quietest hands of possession. They were creative. They just couldn't get that last attempt, that pull that trigger at the right time. And now, Mamoukan, he can equalise! As simple as that. Hugo Bamou. The Frenchman gets his fourth goal of the campaign, a most important one at that, because in a matter of almost two minutes, they've equalised. That is a great, great team goal, let me tell you, and to break them down. And if you can't do it, brilliant from North East. You've got to be honest. Boom up. And Jackie once more in acres of space. Oh, this time it's a much better ball, and oh my oh. goodness, that is so unlucky. Komorski has diverted it into the back of the net. We knew something had to give, but uh, not that way. And Pawan Kumar, who's actually been pretty okay so far in this game. What an error. That phenomenal average that defines him. Koro, he scored. 49, not out. Sly, cunning, but so, so clever. Once again, going to the right-hand side. And Pawan Kumar gets... runs on the left and right, but it's almost to confuse the fullbacks more than anything else. It's Brandon playing more centrally at the minute, though. Good run, though, from the captain, Mandar. Puts it across, Hugo Bumu! Once again, at the right place, and at the right time. The Frenchman has his 10th in Hero ISL and his fifth this season. And FC Goa are ahead against Kerala. Isn't the game of football? Bumu once again. Happy run with the ball. Brandon creating an option. Bumu goes on his own. Mandar is there now on the left hand side. Jackie in the box as well. Raju's header once again. Only finds an FC Goa player. Goro Jackie 2 0. What a goal that is, by the way. Another team effort comes to fruition. And that is a body blow that will be felt all the way from Potoda to the Kalur Stadium in Kochi. Kerala are down and FC Goa are flying to the top of the points table. Heinz Manvir. His return pass is not the best, but Shahu at it once again. What a moment in the game. Hugo Bumu silences the critics. Scored the first tonight and maybe a winner as well. And he's just ensured that Sergio Lovera has his breath back. And FC Goa fans have their voice back. 3-2 Goa. During his career, Dubedir. Dubedir goes for a deflection. And it's gone in. Doran Soro rooted to his spot. And Edu Bedia has opened the scoring. Well, a lot of good work suddenly goes down the punt. You know, you give a free kick away, dangerous area. And you know they've got players that can score from those free kicks. Mandar asked Jackie. Oh! Arranges it. Wonder if he was looking for it. It's got to be offside, isn't it? Jackie, a bit of a smile. Well, I think Koa's going to head the ball in. And whether he touches it or not, he's going to have an effect on what the goalkeeper does. Interfering in play, he's probably going to have a chat <laughs> with the linesman. How can both sets of players be arguing with the referee? Terribly. To be two goals down. No, they haven't. They're just a little bit disorganised. A little bit of sixes and Boo -boo. sevens. Oh, third now. And this time, there is no doubt about it. Bubu turns provider Jackie Chan Singh with a goal. Second, in fact, dig in. Manvir keeps the ball in play. Down the right, Koro's waiting, Len is waiting. Manvir looks up, cuts it back. Koro! Well, if there ever had to be a coronation for King Koro, this is that match. That goal, that celebration. And an iconic venue, and lest we forget in the years to come. Chamber long range shot from Desai. It was a shocker, and yet it's opened the way for the goal. Well, can you believe that? I mean, he made an absolute hash of the shot, and yet it has led to the strike. 
and Goa are in front. Yeah, he's an old-fashioned style of player in many ways, isn't he? The way he pings that ball around from centre yeah. of midfield. And Gora looking menacing again here. He's been allowed to go all the way. It's an absolute screamer of a goal. And it's Boo Moo's night. Boom, boom. That's a terrific goal. Absolutely terrific goal. Rocken. He's been elegant this evening in everything he's done, and that's a brilliant ball through. And he's not going to miss from there. Coro's got his usual goal. Boomer has got an assist. Gur are going to run away with it at 3 1, you feel. Cute, clever players being on the same wavelength as each other. We'll get the penalty, but will Coro score? Yes, he will. Sniper strike, low to the keeper's right, in off the inside of the upright, I fancy. Unstoppable. Go for Hyderabad one, and another two for the collection for Coro. If they can keep it this way, and they won't mind as well. He'll take a lot of defending, like over here. And Jackie sends it in. Boom was there, and oh, right back in it. Coro, once again, 28 in 28 now at the Fattorda. And if there's one man they look up to, it's him. Sloppy defending this time from Mumbai. How can you score a goal and then within two or three minutes turn off that? He just drifts into that area. And sent in chaos in the box. Boom! Whether he got a touch or not won't matter. But Goa have turned it around. And Mumbai City who are in the lead, have seen it wiped away, not just with an equaliser, but now they have to chase this game. The Gore Army back on their feet, and Goa back in the lead. Where's the marking? And no one deals with it at that near post. Take nothing away from Bumu, brave as you like. We've seen him charge into the post, we've seen him flying into challenges, and there he's had to be brave to stoop back and head that goal bound but that is woeful woeful defending from Mumbai here he is once again Bumu played out wide Koro crowd urging him to shoot Koro lays it up for Jackie cute ball inside and what a fine goal that is majestic from FC Goa human poetry you know, you said a minute ago, you said they've managed to keep them quiet and they've managed to be in the game, Mumbai. But how many times have we seen Goa in the space of five or ten minutes turn a game completely on its head? And that is exactly what they've done here. They've literally had two ball possessions and they've scored two goals. And that second one that they've just scored was fantastic. Lovely play, Bumu started off, Koro, it looks as though he's poked it just a little bit too far. But Jackie's managed to get there, and Rinder can't. There's no one tracking with the run. And I tell you, that is a cool, calm finish for Jackie. And the crowd goes up in a chorus. Koro, once more! Irresistible Koro Minas and FC Goa! have put the final nail in the coffin, surely. Simplicity is genius. And that was absolutely fantastic. What a lovely, lovely move. Between that man there, the goal scorer, and this man here, Bumu. The reverse pass back into the path of Koro is absolutely spot on. And what does Coro do? He's smiling before he's hit that ball. He knows that all he's got to do is open himself up and just push it into the corner. And that's exactly what he does. That is a wonderful... In the path of Lenny, who's uh, beaten Gergic. Coro is an option. Only Pratik marking him. Lenny keeps going on his own. Flick back to Seriton. Shot comes in to Koromina. Can he score? Can he shoot? He can tumble and it's finally gone in. A comedy of errors, but in the end, Lenny Rodriguez 
via deflection he doesn't care 5-2 done and dusted yeah this one's gone now this one's definitely gone from Mumbai but what a comedy of errors from the attacking team first and they were the ones that were in the position to score but then it was the defenders it's unfortunate for Mohamed Rafiq it really is for me it's a lovely little touch there Senaton with the toe poke Coro just couldn't get it out of his feet and is this a cross is it a cross come shot well doesn't matter it's ended up in the back of the net was that a penalty no said the referee well now Bumu could escape oh he's got a lot of space to exploit and Coro is one-on-one -on -one. could draw first blood stone cold serial goal scorer Ferran Corominas and it could be the goal that could spur them on towards Asia he was never ever going to miss that but where's the defense they've attacked Mobashir gets it completely wrong with that strike by as you said getting in their faces give a game to go and make life difficult Bumu once again through the middle here comes Bumu and sets it up for Len oh. into the area. Boom! Mercurial, majestic, and monumental. The man who has been involved in a goal almost every hour, and that's why, that's why he's their main man. A remarkable rise, marked by a remarkable goal. Keep ball between Jahu and Bumu. And now, once again, it's opened up. Oh, my word, so cheeky. And how we all wish that Jackie Chan was 10 years younger. But better late than never. And this is why he's such an important ingredient of the chemistry that is FC Goa. Always wandering down the right through the middle. Willing, wicked. And now it is in the hero ISL in a single campaign. Boom. Not done yet. Pena. Edubedia lifted up for Murtala Fall. Four for Goa. And that is that. Winning it in style. The usual suspects. The table never lies. Then Pritam Kotal and Jayesh Rane unlocking them. But uh, and Goa just keep going. Bumu just keeps going. Oh. And he keeps scoring. This is FC Goa, this is their league, and Hugo Bumu, the crowning glory in the shining jewel that the hero ISL has, and the Asian Champions League. Are you ready for this? Are you waiting? Because you better do. And they need Bumu. Bumu, Bumu definitely, yeah. Lenny for Jahu. Six minutes to go, it's up towards Koro, and here is a goal. They've sneaked one in. And it's just touched into the net by Savio Gama, I think. Of all players, he's just stolen in here between the Chennaian centre-backs. Clifford's not smiling because he knows there's miles and miles left to, to go in this game. But Savio here, with his first goal, has breathed life back into the go and challenge. Well, it just means that they only need to get three at home if it stays this way. Jahu, a wonderful ball with the out. First club to achieve her century. On the same ground, it's Jackie Chan, he'll pull it back in, and the ball's been put into his own net by Goyan. Absolutely extraordinary. Well, he scored the first goal in the first leg, but he put that one into the right net. This time, the remaining from the Jackie Chan cross has put it into his own net. Well, within ten minutes, go up Senegalese, and he'll be up there for it, it's two! I said that foul would be in the mix and foul makes it 2-0 and this is a game that is going to be riveting from first to last. He scored against the same opposition last year. He got two goals in the semi-final victory over Mumbai last year. And look at the movement on the bench here. And it's not been a stroll in the park by any means and it still isn't. Manvier. And they've got plenty up here and oh it ricochets and foul cuts it back in they've got another one they've got one back 
And it is uh, the returning Eddie Badia who has struck the ball in beyond Vishal K. So at least Goa may win on the night, even if more importantly they don't win the contest. Let's see. Again, Mando Raudasai on his 100th appearance. Now Brandon, crowd getting excited again. And it's foul, it's into the net! It's two in two minutes, it's two for foul. He got two in the semi-final a year ago, he's got two again this year. And all of a sudden, there is belief in Fatorda again. Chennai cannot believe it. Gora leading by four goals to two, but let me remind you, they still need to score another two.